Today I am sharing how I set up my diaper bag and my stroller for travel days, what I put in the bag, what I take to entertain my kids, snacks, and more, so stay tuned for that. For today's video, I am going to be using the Provisions Backpack from Petunia Pickle Bottom. This is their new Winnie the Pooh print, and I will have a link to it in the description box below. They were so kind enough to reach out and collaborate on today's video, so we'll be sharing that as well as the packing cubes that come with the intermix, and also how once you get to your destination, you can use this as a stroller caddy. So let me show you how I'm doing the bag, then we'll jump into the stroller and just keep this moving, because if you're watching this and you're a mom, you're probably scrambling to get everything ready for your entire family before leaving on a trip in a few days. I mean, I'm filming this two days before my trip, so. I feel you. With that being said, I'm gonna start with what I'm packing in the top portion of this bag. So I'm gonna start out here with my mealtime bag. That just has some bibs, both reusable and disposable, because sometimes you just don't wanna deal with that mess, so totally get that. Have some disposable placemats. Some of them you can actually even color on, which is really cool to keep your child occupied while you're waiting on your food. Have some triangle crayons so they aren't rolling off the tray table in the airplane, or even on the table at the restaurant. They aren't just like rolling off if you have a wobbly table. I have some little kid silverware in here. Just picked up some at, um, you can get that at Dollar Tree. I got a multi-pack at Walmart for like $2. So that is in there. I have reusable straws because if you're traveling with toddlers, I don't know about yours, but mine do not do well with paper straws. They usually get chewed closed. So as a better alternative for us, I take some straws with us. And then I also keep in here a Tide pen for any messes that happen along the way because it's usually around mealtime that those messes happen. So that's kind of a quick overview using the um, little mini or midi cool pixel. And so that is what I am packing up for the top part of the diaper bag. The nice part about this is it actually fits right into this intermix kit right in the center. So it will just pop right down in here whenever we get to our destination. So I can strap this to the stroller and be able to, when it's time to go into a restaurant there at the parks, I can just grab this and go right inside the restaurant and we're good to go. Um, I will not be using this at the airport, but I'll show you a little bit later. So that is going just right here in the tip top of the diaper bag, just like so. Next important thing are snacks. So I like to keep a lot of things that are non-perishable because while yes, our children need fruits and veggies and I'm all for healthy eating and clean eating, when you're traveling, that's just not exactly convenient. So I've got some different yogurt pouches, apple sauces, peanut butter crackers, um, some low sugar snack bars, things like that in here for the girls to snack on. Lots of things to keep them fed while we are traveling because there are sometimes delays and you're trying to get through lines or board the plane or while you're on the plane, they're going to need a snack. So using this little pixel for that. And again, going to stick it in this tip top because I'm gonna need it at the airport, so that's what's going on top of this bag. Next up here in the top of the bag, along with the other two pixels that I've put in here, is my wipes wristlet. I love being able to just pull this out and slip it on my wrist and take my daughter to the bathroom to change her diaper. It has two elastic straps here on the back for diapers, which is really, really handy for hands-free travel. So I'm just going to pop those in there. If you do not learn anything else from this video is take an overnight diaper, put your child in it right before you get ready to board, go ahead, pop a overnight diaper on them and that way it will last a little bit longer and potentially delay a diaper change while you're on the plane. Next up I have this little meds case and this has just some Tylenol and things in it for my husband and I. So if we need any medications, I've got that right there. And that's just going in this back pocket. I have some boogie wipes that I keep in there. My daughter is teething, which most of the time along with it comes a slightly little runny nose. So I like to keep these on hand just to clean off her nose. So those are going in the other back pocket. Next up, I have these two wet bags. I have a different print for each of my girls. That way I can know which one's clothes are in which bag and which one to pull out. So I'm going to be sliding them down in this tech pocket. I am not traveling with a laptop or anything with me at this time. So that is going to be going into that back pocket, which is really helpful and handy for when I need it. I can just unzip it and they are right in there. Next thing are my girls' tablets. So I will be, <laughs> they need cleaning, but <laughs> kids handle these. Have both of their tablets there that I will have in this back pocket as well. 
And then another nice feature about this is it does have the D-rings on the back of the backpack, as well as it has kind of a meshy type material. I do wish this was the padded material like some of the other Pizzunia Pickle Bottom diaper bags, but this mesh is gonna be really nice, especially in the summer heat. It might be even a little sweat wicking and cooling, um, but that's how that works. And then here in the top, it actually has a pocket, which is a tech pocket for your phone, which is so, so cool. So my phone will literally slide down in there and have its own little personal pocket right there on the back. So this diaper bag is literally perfection for traveling. And then here on the back of the diaper bag, I wanted to show this really quickly too, is it does have a trolley sleeve. So if you can put this on the top of your suitcase and roll it around instead of carrying it, if you wanted to do that as an option instead. Another thing I did want to point out on the back though is that it does not have a wallet sleeve like some of the other bags. The Method bag as well as the Ace bag that I talk about all the time have those. This bag does not, but it gains so many other features that, you know, I can do without that one little pocket. Next, I'm going in and going to pack this front pocket. It's actually an insulated pocket, which is really cool. So if you needed to um, pop a bottle or even some like yogurt pouches or like anything cooled down in here for your kiddos, that is a great spot to do that. For me personally, I'm going to have my kids activities, a couple of activities in there. So I have these little tablets. I had some different ones, but I ended up, the girls lost the pen. So when I rebought, I purchased these because they have a string attached to them. So hopefully that means we won't lose the pen, but it is just a little LED um, writing tablet, which is really cool, or LCD, LED, I forget which one it is, but it is a writing tablet, which is really neat. Comes in a two pack and they love to draw on these and it works amazing. So I'm gonna pop those down in there to pull out when I quickly need something. And then this is just a little bag I have with some more crayons that they have for like coloring books, things like that. And then a couple of little just race cars that I have in there as well as some little sets. I will have these like to fill up, but they're fun. They're just little mini sets. They're actually party favors, but it has a mini coloring book, two small crayons, as well as a sticker in there. So those are fun when we need to like delay something or, okay, let's do an activity pack. And so they really, really enjoy that. We'll color with them and it just kind of keeps them entertained while we are having to wait for anything and everything. So that bag, I'm just gonna pop down in there as well in the front. And then in this front zipper pocket here, lots of pockets on this thing, you guys. And I've not even got to the fun part, which is coming. And so this is my hand sanitizer. I keep one in my like mommy bag that I wear as well as in the diaper bag, just because people are gross. So <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm gonna put that in to this front pocket here. Some sanitizing wipes. These are great for tray tables, things like that. I will have them and everything else I can link in the description box below, but I love using those. And then some diaper rash spray. So just in case baby girl's bottom needs a little bit of extra coating, um, I can do that. And especially on travel days when they're in their diapers a little bit longer, it definitely helps to coat this. And this like spray keeps you from getting your fingers dirty. And it's just really, really nice to have a spray version of that. And then I'm going to toss in the back pocket here, an extra pacifier. Do not leave home without an extra pacifier. If your child takes a pat or passy or binky, whatever you call it, pack an extra, just do that. And then I have a little lippy here for myself and I'm actually gonna toss this down in that front pocket too. Cause half the time when we moms need something, um, it's usually in the bottom of the bag or you can't really access it. So you're just like, I'm just gonna skip that. So I'm doing something for myself, putting that in the front of the bag and then jumping back into the top part of the diaper bag. I will add in their jackets. I'm gonna pack them their rain jackets that to potentially wear if they're a little cool on the airplane. So I'm gonna throw those in here on the tip top um, and, and then any little like snack cups and things that we want to add potentially will go in there as well. So still have quite a bit of room in this bag. It is so big, but it, holds so, so much and I love it. So now we are going to be on having this nice little water bottle pocket here on the side, which is insulated. So that does help to kind of keep things cool. But we're gonna spin this around and I'm gonna show you the undercarriage of this bag. Now we are on to the garage door of this bag. 
And it is amazing because this is insulated, which is really, really cool. So any snacks or bottles or um, breast milk or anything that you're needing to travel with is perfect under here. And this Intermix, actually, if you wanted to use it instead of what I'm going to do, actually fits in here. So you could have that all organized and put in there. If you are traveling and you're a pumping mom, this is amazing. I really wish I would have had this bag when I was traveling and pumping. This would have been absolutely perfect. Um, but yeah, this is really fun. And so you can do that too. This also, the Intermix will fit in this top portion of the bag that we just like, put all that stuff into. So if you wanna use it up there too, you could do that instead. So these are what I'm actually going to put under here in this cooled area. So they actually have little snap off lids come with their own little spoon fork combination there and then expand. They are silicone and collapsible, which is awesome. So I will be able to put them a little bit of cereal. I can put them some fresh fruit in there for the morning and maybe a little sandwich or something. And that way they can have food that I know they are going to like. I can use this at Disney when we are packing up um, food and lunches for the day. I've got to where I pack their lunches instead just because they don't end up eating half the food I buy for them. So I'd rather know that they're gonna eat what I have for them instead of being a big fat maybe and a question mark. So these will fit, both of them expand out. Let me just pop this one out really quick. But they came in a two pack, which is perfect. So if you have multiple kids, this is great. A nice little set there. I'm just gonna pop this back on. These are just gonna fit right under here and they will both stack. So they both fit in there just nicely and you can even push those in a little bit further and then I could even put like some snack cups here on the end or water bottles or regular bottles if you have a baby that you're traveling with or anything and then just zip up the pockets here on the end and you're good to go. So you have food for them, you know they will like, you're all set. You can definitely carry food through security for your kids and for even yourself. So that is a great option to also save some money. So have a nice little pocket there for their food. And then one last option for up here, if you are wanting to take the Intermix and use it for your stroller caddy when you get to your destination, is we're gonna take this stuff right back out and then pop the caddy, the Intermix itself, right up here in the tip top because it will fit even with things in those back pockets back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the snack and then the little mealtime cube there. And then I can lay my little diaper changing situation here on the very top. If you're wondering, the jackets that I'm gonna pack be able to fit here in the end in this open section of the intermix. So I have those little spots there that I can roll up their jackets and pop them down in there. And this will work perfectly. And then once I get to my destination, I can just reorganize it. And I have everything, including my stroller caddy, ready to set up and have my stroller kind of decked out and ready to go and convenient. So now I'm gonna show you how I set up and use our stroller and everything to get through the airport. For today's video, I'm gonna be using my Juvie Cooper RS2 version stroller. And so as you can tell, I have my little tag along handle here on the side. And again, everything, including the stroller, I'll link in the description box below. But I have that all set up. And then here in the seats, I wanna show you these liners that I have because they would have been a game changer on our last trips. And I'm so glad I have them. And so I'm gonna tell you about them because you could probably benefit from them too. So these things are going to be such a game changer for accidents or leaking diapers or spills or just anything that happens in the stroller because this piece will be so much easier to take out than stripping the entire cover off of the stroller to wash it instead. So love this thing and it comes in either a single pack or two pack. So depending on what kind of stroller you have, you can check that out. It has a waterproof backing and will just kind of absorb things, any accidents that happen, spills, whatever. That'll be good to have in the stroller for both the airport and the parks instead. So I've got both of those set up for the girls. And then let me show you the back. On the sides here, I have a hook. I have one on the other side as well, but I love to use these to just quickly hang any cups that the girls may be carrying with them. Sometimes you just need to quickly like hang things or put things and this works really well. And I can leave these on while the stroller is folded, no problem. And then here on the back, I have these set up. This is what I use for our stroller caddy on this set. So when I get that intermix out at our destination, I could clip it on to these. And then the diaper bag hangs from this 
strap here and so it hangs a little bit lower so kind of have a layered situation going on there but those are really really nice these are the valet straps and these are the cute little poo bear ones how adorable are those I love them. Um, so have those. And then again, on this side, same hook and our little handle for when my toddler wants to get out and walk. So that works really well. And I can fold all of this down still with it attached, no problem. And then jumping down to the bottom, I have this little mesh net that actually hangs on the side of my diaper bag when we're at the parks and out and about, but I have it with my rain cover in it. And it is actually secured to the bottom of the stroller here. And so it just folds up right along with the stroller. And so I already have it. I don't have to worry about packing it in my suitcase. And I also already have it and I'm not having to dig through a bag when I get to my destination, say our room isn't ready and we're out and about and it starts raining. I'm ready to go with that instead. And we're not left without that. But then it will, again, like I said, fold down. So... That works perfectly. Love this setup for the airport. And for us, we are a gate check family. So that means... So that means we will be bringing our stroller with us to the gate right as we are about to board the plane. So I know I've gotten a few questions about how do you use your stroller at the airport and what does that look like? So I'm going to include some footage of how we get it down the jetway and everything here at the end so you can kind of see what that whole process looks like if you've been curious about gate checking your stroller. We just find it so much easier to get through the airport with the kids with the stroller and have them all strapped in and they're not running here, there and everywhere until we get to our gate. Especially when you're busy trying to get through security, it's just easier to just keep them strapped in until you absolutely have to take them out. And that process just goes so, so much smoother, especially when you're in a very crowded place. So highly recommend gate checking if you were taking your stroller with you. what it looks like with the diaper bag hanging on it. Works out really, really good. I'll add in, like I said, the intermix on the top and we will be good to go. So I hope that helps if you have been curious about how to set up your stroller for the airport. If you are headed to Disney World and you wanna see what my stroller looks like and how it varies from here to there at the parks, then you can click on this video right over here and go check that one out. And I'll see you over there. Bye.